The source of our competitive advantage is uh, the integrated vision system. It is from the vision system, from uh, the machine learning algorithms that we have developed, that uh, every advantage that we have over the competition emerges. So the fact that we can uh, print more precisely, uh, more reliably, comes from the vision system. The fact that our printer doesn't waste material, unlike uh, competing printers, comes from the fact that it's a contactless technology, so it relies on a vision system. The fact that it creates a digital twin that ensures uh, quality control and traceability of every product comes from the vision system. So we have a number of advantages and uh, with respect to the competition, there are a number of players in the industry that uh, today want to launch machines for production. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll, re I'll rephrase this because the, some machines for, for production already exist. So, with respect to the competition, uh, there are a number of machines today that uh, are made for production purposes, not just for prototyping. But as of today, at least uh, all the systems out there are either single material or if they are multi-material they are for prototyping. So to the best of my knowledge there is no machine out today that can make multi-material parts and is designed for production volume manufacturing. So we are the only one developing such machine. The fact that we have an integrated vision system allows the machine to create a digital replica of every single part that is printed. This is very important for a number of reasons. At the most basic level, it allows the customer to track every single product after they have been printed, after they have been ship shipped to the customer. So let's say that uh, a particular product fails in the field it would be very important to be able to trace back the history of that single part, no matter how small or inexpensive, and look exactly at how it was printed. At a higher level, it's very important that a record of every print exists in, in the files of the company in order to be able to learn from all past manufacturing instances and establish a learning network to become better and better in the future. So we believe in the idea of an intelligent factory that uh, will learn from its own mistakes and will become better and better. So that's uh, the, the vision that Professor Matuzic wants to bring to the world. 3D printing has such a potential to disrupt industries that it's not possible to confine it to a single uh, corner. It can disrupt industries as diverse as aerospace, uh, all the way to food. So from our own perspective, we are very passionate, especially about the medical industry. Uh, but the industries that I think will be disrupted first by 3D printing will be most likely the shoe industry. Uh, I can see very easily how shoes will, will be 3D printed and there will be no more inventory to be stocked and each product will be personalized to uh, the athlete. Uh, another industry that I think will be disrupted will be the eyeglasses industry. I can uh, very well see in the next uh, five to ten years eyeglasses will be entirely 3D printed. Uh, there's a company in the Netherlands called Luxexcel. They're already 3D printing lenses, ophthalmic lenses. So from printing lenses to printing the frame and the lens together the step is not very big. So I would imagine that sector will be disrupted. Uh, another sector will be personalized medical devices. And uh, in general, every product that could benefit from part consolidation, uh, instead of injection molding several components and snapping them together later, 3D printing can just 3D print the entire product in one go. Uh, so there are, there are a, a very large number of uh, areas that 3D printing will impact.